The Season 10 mid-season patch has been out for over two weeks now, and the changes to Tank as a whole have been huge. For those of you who are unaware, the Tank role has received massive buffs, with certain characters going even further receiving individual buffs, those being Junker Queen, Bol, and Zarya. The buffs for the entire tank role are an increase in knockback resistance from 30% to 50% and a 25% damage reduction to headshots, meaning that tanks won't be tossed around the map as much as they were previously and they take way less damage from headshots. The individual buffs that the heroes received mentioned prior included a damage buff to Bowl's grapple from 50 to 60. The time between when enemies can move after they've been hit by the pile driver has been increased from 0.5 to 0.75. And his minefield received a damage increase as well from 130 damage to 165, as well as the knockback increasing from 5 to 10. Junker Queen also received a buff to her commanding shout, allowing it to be used while channeling her other abilities and the cooldown decreasing from 14 to 12 seconds. Finally, we have the unnecessary Zarya buff that Blizzard Wax to sneak in every single patch, being a grav buff this time, with its radius increasing from 6 to 7 meters and the duration is increasing from 3.5 to 4 seconds. And a week ago, Blizzard also announced a hotfix patch notes which also buff tanks as well in a different sense from what you might be thinking. When the patch was released, Hog became extremely dominant and easily the best tank pick. In the recent hotfix was a Hog nerf, they nerfed Hog's take a breather by reducing the resource meter regeneration from 10 to 8 per second which means Hog will regain his take a breather at a far slower rate. They nerfed the max healing from, from 450 to 400, and they did a slight buff to his cooldown by reducing it from 1.5 to 1.25 seconds. They also nerfed Hog's ult, increasing its knockback from 14 to 16, as well as nerfing the damage from each pallet from 7 to 6. These Hog nerfs do make him far less dominant than what he was previously, however, one of the big problems as to why he was so dominant was the fact that they made it that he could one-shot again. They didn't revert that change, meaning that you can still get one-hooked. Blizzard also reverted the extremely unnecessary change that they did to Sigma's ult. Now back to the topic of, is tank saved? The answer is maybe. With all the buffs that they did to the tanks, making them less countered against high damage dealing cooldowns and abilities, which makes... DPS less powerful against tanks only buffed the impact supports have on the game. The less damage tanks take means the amount of healing that can be dealt increases. This also buffs damage boosting abilities like Discord, Ant Matrix, and Nano by making the amount of damage dealt higher than what it should be. It also buffs Abilities like Cleanse, Anti-Nade, and Immortality Field, meaning that when tanks are low, they can easily be prevented from dying due to the less damage that is being dealt. This makes tanks roughly about where they were after Season 2. They were strong, but they were slowly getting power crept by the supports. Personally, I think that they need to either do a few minor buffs to each tank individually, leaving out of course Malga and Hog, and Orissa as well, or just another major change to the tank role as a whole. To make it so that it is an impactful role and also, on top of that, fun to play as well. In current Overwatch, even after the tank buffs, it's still not as enjoyable as playing DPS or support when you're constantly getting booped around and CC'd into oblivion. So to summarize, I think that tanks have been put into a more awkward position than they originally were and I think that either a few minor changes to each tank or another major change would be very, very beneficial. I hope you all enjoyed this video. It wasn't an educational video, but it was a video sort of updating everyone with tanks and where they're at in Overwatch right now. I hope you all enjoyed. Stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you all in the next video.
until then.